The history of black holes isn't very long. 100 years ago, no one knew about black holes. Because of Einstein's theory of relativity, black holes were later discovered. Friends, there are two parts to the theory. The special theory of relativity, and the general theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity published by Einstein in 1905, tells us how speed influences time. If you are in a spaceship that is going very fast, if the speed is too high, time will slow down for you relative to the people not on the spaceship, back on Earth. The word relative is very important because when you are in a spaceship, you wouldn't feel the time slowing down. You would think that time is flowing at the same speed as it normally does. But when you get back to the Earth, you'll find out that there was a difference in the flow of time. This is known as kinematic time dilation. Not only speed, but even gravity can also result in time dilation as shown by Einstein in his general theory of relativity. This was developed by him in 1915. The more gravitational force you'd experience, the more time would slow down for you. This is known as gravitational time dilation. To visualize this, Einstein wanted us to imagine a space-time fabric. Kind of like a mesh, on which all planetary objects are placed. The space-time fabric bends due to the mass of the objects. And when the mesh bends, not only does it attract physical objects more, but it leads to time dilation as well, and the other forms of energy, such as sound, heat, or light. They are affected by gravitation as well. This was another conclusion drawn by Einstein. Gravitation affects almost everything. Not only physical objects are attracted by the force of gravitation, it attracts heat, sound, and light as well. This means that there can be such objects in the universe which have such a high gravitational force that they can completely absorb light. If there are such objects, it means that they'd be completely black. We won't be able to see them. Because not even light can escape them. This is exactly what black holes are. But when Einstein presented his theory of general relativity, the concept of black holes was merely theoretical back then. By the time he passed away, not even the term black holes was invented. An interesting fun fact here, a key point in Einstein's theory was that light's speed limits gravity's influence. We don't feel gravity's force instantly, everywhere, its upper limit is the speed of light. After Einstein, the theory of general relativity, was worked on by many scientists like Karl Schwarzschild, Johannes Drost, Subramanyam Chandrashekhar. They solved many equations and tried to derive the solutions, and by getting to the solution of these equations, it was theoretically proven that things like black holes do indeed exist. By the 1960s, Researchers and scientists had finally agreed that not only theoretically, perhaps one day, realistically, we'd be able to see black holes. Because these do exist in space. The term black hole was used for the first time by a magazine in 1964. Actually there's no hole in the space. Black holes are formed by stars. So there's some material at its center. But in the stars, even our sun is a star there's a continuous nuclear fusion reaction at their center. This is how the stars maintain equilibrium throughout their lives. The forces pushing outwards due to the reaction, and the forces pulling inwards due to gravity. But these reactions take place with either hydrogen or helium. The fuel wouldn't always be there. It would get burned up at some point. And when the fuel ends, there wouldn't be any forces pushing outwards and the gravitational force pulling inwards wouldn't be countered by an equal force, so that star will collapse on itself because of its own gravity. This will take a long time, by the way. Our sun's life expectancy is around 10 billion years. But what happens next depends on the mass of the star. If the mass of the star is small, or average-sized star, it turns into a red giant. After which it can become a planetary nebula, or a white dwarf. But if it is a huge star, a star will have a lot of mass, when it runs out of fuel, it cools down and turns into a red supergiant. And then the supergiant bursts, and turns into a supernova. After this, a tiny core remains. If the core is tiny, it is called a neutron star, but anything bigger than that, we call it a black hole. There are mainly three to four types of black holes. 
The first is the stellar black hole. That is the most common type of black hole. These were created by stars. The second type is the primordial black holes. These black holes are as small as an atom. But their mass is like that of a mountain. The third type of black hole is the supermassive black hole. These black holes are enormous. Whose diameter is as big as that of our solar system? Scientists believe that at the center of every major galaxy, there is a supermassive black hole. Scientists believe that there may be a fourth type of black hole too but they aren't sure. In 2019, the first photo of a black hole was taken. This photo was taken by the Event Horizon Telescope, on 10 April 2019. This proved the existence of black holes practically. About 100 years after they were proven theoretically. One thing that you can clearly notice in the photo, is that the particles on one side are brighter than the other side. There's a simple reason for that. The particles spinning towards us seem brighter to us, and that are spinning away from us, seem dimmer. This is due to the Doppler beaming effect. If you look at the black hole from the top, they will look like a normal, round disk. We get this illusion only when viewing the black hole from the sides. Apart from this, when you enter the black hole, you will see a last circle of light. It is the photonsphere. The gravity in this area is so strong that the light starts orbiting the black hole. This light is made of photons. This means that if you reach this area of a black hole alive, it is theoretically possible to see the back of your head, since the light is traveling in a circle, in the formation of a ring. After the photon sphere, there is the boundary of the black hole. This is known as the event horizon. It is considered a boundary because after this point, the gravity is so strong that even the light cannot escape. Everything is black beyond this point. If you are falling into a black hole, and you have crossed the event horizon, theoretically, there's no chance of you escaping. If not even light can escape it, how would a human? Does this mean that if you go inside a black hole and if you ever could get out of it, the universe outside would have ended for the rest of us? We do not know. We can only make theories. What do you think? Comment below and let me know. And, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks.